I want you all to stop what you are f***ing doing right now and listen to me because I have got one of the craziest videos of the year about to happen. Michael has back-to-back -back meetings today in the city. Michael's car has been a moving death trap for the last year. It's an absolute piece of sh**. He has kindly asked Martin over here to take his car to the mechanics because it won't get out of second gear. Smarty's called me and now it's time to finally get rid of this car once and for all. So Alrighty guys, so today's plan is first step, we steal Michael's car. Second step, we drive it to the mechanics. Third step, we call a cement truck to come and fill Michael's poor little car with cement. Fourth step, we take Michael down there and we film his reaction. This should be fun. Enjoy. We have got Michael's key and it's official that is his bomb just over there. You have to open my door, it doesn't. I'm just gonna kick it a little bit, I think. It just doesn't move. It has to go in second only. Hello, love. So we're going to empty his car out, any personal belongings, anything important. We're going to get out of the boot or out of the car and make sure it's definitely in the middle of the car so he can never get it back. That's a great idea. He'd love that. Bags and shit. What's a leather jacket? It's the whole cupboard in the boot of their car when they have a house. Oh no, we've got to save this. There's no way I'm going to let that go to waste. Yeah, lucky you <laughs> found that, man. That's his lucky lipstick. The concrete truck has arrived. <laughs> oh, you break the window! That's my vision. The concrete's going to go to about three or four tons in weight once it's set. And I don't think this car's going to hold us. So we don't really want the thing to pop open and make a mess. So we're strapping the doors nice and tight. Clearly, the cement has put enough pressure on the horn. He puts it back on. <laughs> and we still have some clothes left. He might actually take these, which I don't really want. Before we leave, we're gonna get the mechanic guys to give Michael a quick call. Let him know there's a few things wrong with the car. They need to order a few parts in. So it might need to be kept here for at least a day or two until the concrete sets anyway. Hey mate, Chris from Barry Fairs, how you going? Yeah, good, dude. So? Good, man. Hey, um, your mate's dropped off your car today for us to have a look at the gearbox again. I think you guys said it was like around a grand or something. Um, it's going to have yeah, to stay here yeah. a day or two. Is that going to be a big drama for you? But nothing set in concrete with the price yet. Just that your suspension, there seems to be a bit of an issue with your suspension on it as well. But we'll try and see what we can do for you, mate. Chris, not a problem at all, Marty. Am I a bad person? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, it's time to get out of here. Leave this car here to dry overnight and we will be back in a couple of days. Hopefully tomorrow, we don't know, we'll see you then. So here I am at the car yard about to buy Michael a new Ferrari. I think he'd look pretty nice walking up at a school in this. Yep, that's the one, I found it. That's the exact car I'm going to get for Michael. No, no, not that one. This one. This is it. The new car means one thing. Army roll. He's out there, he's about to pay for the fixes and all the incidentals on his car and we'll take him out the back and show him his beautiful car. What's the damage? You said a thousand, when I punched a thousand into it and it's not making any difference whatsoever. It's not selecting gear. I'll show you, I'll start it so you can hear it. <laughs> 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 oh, it looks healthy. Four ton of concrete in your car, oh brother. My God. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. Wait, wait, wait. Dude, what about the clothes? Oh, the clothes? They're all That's up. Right. Yeah, they're... Oh my God. Why is all your clothes in there? Dude, I'm actually not even it's about the car, it's the clothes. <laughs> it just cost me like a couple of grand, not to worry. No, no I'm impressed with the prank I just. And take me, yeah, to H&M or something. Alrighty, whilst Michael's out there talking to the mechanics, I'm decided I'm going to get his new car, bring it around and see his reaction, so... Oh, oh, oh that was smooth! I got you a new vehicle, my brother! I've got you a new... You nailed that turn! Fast and Furious, don't you watch anything? God! I used to pay out people that drove these. $1,000 sound system. You know what I like? I hate that. No! Yeah. Now what, it's your new car? Swag? Yeah! <laughs> That's sick! <laughs> Put something offensive. <laughs> That's gonna get the cops. That's gonna f***ing make them pull me over. Alright everybody, all in all, I think everybody took something out of this video. I filled up Michael's car with concrete and he got a beautiful new car. Most importantly, Michael's very happy. So happy. I'd like to say a quick thank you to everybody who made this video possible. Bo Repairs Lawton, Mike Brennan Wholesale Cars, and the Concreting Company, which I forget, insert name here, who came out in the day to help us out. I spent a lot of time and a lot of money making this video, which is more than okay, because I make this for you guys. I love you all. Subscribe, like, turn on post notifications. We'll see you guys next time.
Thanks, dude. I, I, I come from a town where most of the people are so close-minded. They go into school and they